Hi everyone, Tochi here today with a new class. It's a similar class to the ones I've done before, but again, we're going to look at simple divination you can do for yourself, and this time with an ordinary book. This is not uh, a holy book. It's not sacred scripture or writings. It's just an ordinary book. And so, pretty much, we're going to look at how we can use an ordinary book, an ordinary book, to gain simple guidance for some of the choices that we face in our everyday lives. Welcome to my family. So there it is. So get any book of your choice. I do have this book. I think it's a, a great book. Um, it's a book of uh, Proverbs, African Proverbs here. And I picked this up from an African store. And um, so this book has no scriptural, no holy writings or anything like that. Okay. In it. Um, so pick any book you want, you know, any language, you know, pick. Okay. And so what we're going to do, we're pretty much going to use the same principle that we used in the Bible divination and the Quran divination. If you have not watched those two videos, I do encourage you to take a moment after watching this video to go watch those two videos. We're pretty much going to use the same principles. We're not going to ask any deep soul searching questions in our divination. We just want to get some simple guidance. You know, that's all we're trying to get here. Okay. We also want to be careful that when we phrase our questions, we're not going to phrase our questions as yes or no, because then it makes the whole point of the divination useless. You know, if I want a yes or no, I can use a coin or use carry shells or something like that. But, you know, I want a little bit more meat to my divination because I want to get some guidance. OK, even if it's a negative uh, response. I want to know why and what to do about it. And if it's positive, I know I want to know why and what to do about it. So basically what we will do here is that we will calm down, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. And then just get centered. We have our question. So for the purposes of this video, what question should I ask? Hmm, I can ask a question. Uh, let's see. Why did I dream of picking up lots of silver coins in my dreams? What's the significance of that? Yeah, I think that's a great question. And so... What I'll do is, that's my question formulated, I ask it, and then I will open my book at random. And then without looking at where I opened, I will touch and then read. If you laugh at someone's rough skin, you must be prepared to give him or her oil. And then we'll write that down. If you laugh at someone's rough skin, you must be prepared to give him or her oil. Hmm. I'm picking up a lot of silver coins in my dreams. Laughing at someone and being prepared to give them oil. Hmm. For me to give someone oil, hmm, I will need money to buy the oil. So in other words, if I don't have the money to buy the oil, uh, I shouldn't laugh at them. What has that got to do with silver coins? 
Hmm. So I do it a second time. If a child is cutting a piece of yam, he cuts it according to the size of his mouth. Oil, yam, food stuff. Hmm, I think we're getting warm. And then I do it a third time. Silence is, is more than just a lack of words. Hmm. So the first theme was oil. The second theme was yams. And the third theme was silence. So, you know, you can think about that. Of course, we're writing all these things down. And then you sit down and think about that and say, what connects all three things that I picked? Now, remember, I, I'm asking a non-existent question here, but let's assume that it was a real valid question. You know, why am I picking up all these silver coins in my dreams? Well, if I'm... I've picked the first thing, it says yams, picks the second one, it says oil, says the other one, silence. I could say that what the guidance I'm getting here is that, you know, yam and oil um, go together, you know, especially if you're from um, South America or Africa, um, you might be familiar with that combo, you know. You boil some yams and you eat that with some oil. You know, you put some salt on it and eat it. And that in itself is a complete meal. So I could pull from that and say, okay, that's a complete meal. So does it mean I need to eat my meal in silence? Well, meal, meal, being fed. Okay, so if I'm picking up these silver coins in my dreams, does it mean that there's something I'm going to be fed? Is it financial? I'm going to be financially fed and I need to be silent about it. In other words, I don't need to be running around and telling people. Maybe when this financial uh, uh, food comes to me, I don't need to be running around and telling people or boasting about it or announcing it. So you see how you can use that? Again, you would have to use your imagination. You have to use your intuition. Look at the three things you picked and start looking for the common threads. Okay, so I'm dreaming about picking up a lot of silver coins. And then I did this and the first theme was something about oil. You know, don't laugh at somebody if you're not, unless, unless you're willing to give them oil. Second one was a child cuts a piece of yam to fit its the size of its mouth. The third one is silence does not mean a lack of words. So I'm looking at the theme of all those things and laugh, uh, silence, words. Um, it, it appears to me that what I'm being asked to do is whatever windfall comes my way, whatever, you know, it's just like when you get your paycheck, you know, sometimes people say that's food, you know, the food, because that basically buys, you know, the beans that you put on the table. So be silent, be silent about the windfall that comes your way, that material sustenance that is coming your way. You need to be silent about it. Don't go about telling everybody when it comes, how it comes, you need to keep that to yourself. So, you know, again, this is to illustrate how this technique works. Remember that using, uh, remember that using books uh, for divination, they're tools. Don't, for goodness sake, don't look at this as the be all and end all. No, you're just using this as a tool. You're just using it as a simple tool, okay? 
when you go to a professional spiritual practitioner or a professional reader or a professional psychic, obviously they do this professionally. They have a high degree of skill in doing divinations. But there's sometimes you just want to do a little something, something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, okay. You know, in the morning you want to get up and say, hey, I just want to know how my day is going to go or I want to know how my week is going to go. Today is my birthday. I just want to get some kind of indication as how my year, you know, might want to, is going to go, you know, something like that. You want to use it for something, just a general level of guidance. Now, I want to say this other thing. Unlike the Bible and the Quran, which again, the ayats or the verses tend to have multiple layers of meanings. When you're using an ordinary book, honey, there are no multiple layers of meanings in here. So that's why you do not want to be using this for life or death kind of questions, okay? You do not want to be using this for kind of deeper questions like, what's the name of my guardian spirit? Okay? You, <laughs> all right, you don't want to be saying, um, I want to know the uh, origins of the universe. Now, you don't want to be doing that with this. So you can use this. Um, it, I, I would hate to use the word entertainment, but it could be like a form of entertainment to see like, what do you get? You know, and I like using uh, ordinary books like this as a means of training uh, or intuition, training or inner knowing. You know, if you've been in my spiritual uh, detox retreats or any of my spiritual coaching classes, you know that uh, we do have this exercise where we use a meaningless image or object to develop our intuitive abilities. You can do that with this too. You can do that with this too. Because remember again, your intuition, using your inner eye, you can, you can, then train your intuition to look into something and extract meaning that is hidden to the visible eyes. So I think this is a great thing to do on a Sunday afternoon or Saturday afternoon or any afternoon that you have time and you can use it and start training yourself to start seeing things beyond the obvious. You can use this to do simple divinations, you know, answer simple questions. I would encourage you to try this out and see how it works for you. Well, thank you very much for joining me in today's short class. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. If you're not a member, consider hitting the join button below this video to join the Dr. Tochi channel as a member. There are four membership levels. You can read all about it when you click that button. If you need to get a hold of me, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, there is a link in the description below this video that you can click on and reach me in a variety of ways. If you need to reach out to me for products and services, especially professional divination, click on that link in the description below this video. And as usual, we will end our class with our invocation. To our creator, our guardian spirit, guardian angel, our spirit guides, our ancestors, and all those that we hold dear, near, and sacred, we say thank you. Thank you for this fun time we have together. Thank you for all the wonderful things we learn together. Thank you for all the laughter and love that we share. And thank you so much for your protection and guidance. Ashe.